All right, so today we're going to start off uh, talking about our talking about fisheries, which is a which is a big part of our coastal management story. Talking about fisheries management by first uh, trying to manage some fisheries. So we're going to do that by playing a game. Yeah. So we're going to do a simulator. I'm going to give you guys some background. The, the, the program is called, the game is called Fish Banks. So we're going to play, we're going to play it in teams. But uh, we'll see how this goes. Historically, we've played this uh, on, a, on a sort of offline version when I run it. But uh, last year we tried this, it didn't work right. I, I don't entirely know. So hopefully it's going to work this year. But I want to run you through what it's going to be like for us uh, before we actually play the game, OK? So now these slides are all made by the folks that uh, is actually University of New Hampshire, I believe, was the, the first place that invented this. It's now migrated to MIT Sloan School of Management. And they now uh, host an online version of the game that you used to have to do offline. So it's pretty cool. So um, we've been obviously fishing for a long time. And fishing is very similar to a lot of our other biological extractive pra practices, such as harvesting timber, um, uh, deer, things of that nature. So it's a, nice, it's a nice model. So before we start going here, I'm going to run through you guys some of the information provided by the folks that make the simulation, some introduction and why we're doing it, and then we'll, we'll talk real briefly how we get it going, and then you guys are going to join a group uh, game. We'll all be shared in the same um, the, sh the same simulator. So you guys, each of your teams, I bro just broke you guys up into teams, each of your t teams will serve as a different fishing company. And you guys are going to run your business. So there's obviously other folks in the room, like just like there's other folks in the port and in, in your state, etc., in your fishing grounds. And um, you're going to have to deal with how many fish should how much effort are we going to put out? How, many, how much fish do we return? Uh, you know, sell those fish, et cetera. We're, we're going to go in an order. So it's an online collaborative thing, but essentially everybody's going to, we're going to step through the game one year at a time. So uh, everybody will take a turn. And then once all our teams have taken a turn, then we'll advance to the next year and we'll see what happened. And then we'll do another, you guys make your decisions, et cetera, and then we'll advance. And then we'll, we'll go like that. Um, right. So the goal, obviously, since you guys own these companies, is to keep your company solvent, right? To make some money, hopefully. The amount of money you have at any one point in time is both the money you have in the bank and your assets. And your ass assets, to keep it simple, in this game, your assets are the amount of ships that you have, right? So the ships can be sold to somebody else or can be sold for scrap value, etc. So there's some value associated with the the uh, harvest instruments themselves. And not, not very uh, complex here, but essentially you guys are going to get some amount of profit at the end of each year, and that's going to be the, your, your income less whatever expenses you had. Your income is going to come from the fish you caught and bring back to harbor and are able to sell. If you guys were to sell any of your ships, that would yield revenue. And then just like we have any old uh, other money in the bank, your, your money in the bank might be earning some interest. Your expenses are operating costs. So you incur an operating cost based on where you put your ships. So you basically have three options each year. You can park your ships at harbor, do not, do not operate them. Um, you can put them in nearshore waters, coastal waters, or you can put them in offshore waters far, far off from the littoral zone. Going to the far off littoral zone is the most costly. You burn more fuel, takes more time, etc. Generally speaking, the fish populations, the fish harvest is probably better out there, but it costs more to get there. It's cheaper to, to put your boats in the near shore waters, and it's cheapest uh, yet to keep them at, at port. But note that when you keep your ships, if you choose to keep any of your ships at harbor, uh, they still incur some cost. There's still some operation and maintenance and and docking fees or something like that. So that there's some minimal cost, even if you, if you don't operate them uh, offshore. 
so your income is going to be related to uh, which is which is your, from your fish sales is going to be related to how many fish you catch times the the price you're getting for this and all this will be done automatically you guys don't have to calculate your your profit um, it'll you'll get an answer but just so you know this is what the simulator is doing Gazunta is what the simulator is doing um, and so we'll start off and this will this will vary as the as the simulator goes on maybe if a bunch if a bunch of people bring in a ton of, of fish right the price might go down if people aren't bringing in that many the price might go up etc uh and again ship sales are going to be what the the price of the ships uh are cost you'll have the option to if you want to get rid of a ship to sell them to somebody in here and you guys could bid on them at different prices so uh that 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 uh number will vary and again, then basically, yeah, as long as you have at least some money in the bank, you'll get some amount of interest. That's your income. As far as your expenses, you're going to have primarily the operating cost. Again, that's going to be uh, whether you keep the ship at port, in port, at the harbor, or in the nearshore coastal waters, or in the farther offshore, deeper uh, waters. And to start with, the costs are going to be $50.00. Uh, at I don't think this changes actually. I think this stays the same throughout the game. These are the default conditions. Fifty dollars at harbor, one hundred fifty dollars uh, in the coastal waters, and two hundred fifty uh, in the deep sea. Uh, obviously, if you purchase any ships, you can you can either choose to buy a ship from one of your one of the other companies if they want to sell it to you. They, if they want to put it up on auction, you can and you're the highest bidder. You can buy it, or you can actually put an order in. So if you put an order in, that's the only lag time in terms of stuff. If auctions, if I say, hey, I want to buy that ship from you, I'll get that ship this year and it can be in play this year. If I purchase a ship, that means it has to be built for me. There's a one year lag time. So you lose the money this year, but you don't incur the ability to capture additional fish, make, make more revenue until... Uh, the following year because they the shipyard has to go through the act of building the the device and then uh, Yeah, right. Okay So hopefully you guys don't have a negative balance <laughs> And so like I said so each year you might choose to get some more ships to increase your your capacity um, And right I guess I already said all that. I already said all that. Cool. So the initial starting cost, if you guys do want to build a ship, is $300 per ship. And this is the timeline that we'll go through in each, in each phase. So uh, you start the year, you have some amount of money in the bank, right? And so your, your team, your group will have a look at that and you'll say, okay, this is what we have to work with this year. Um, if you, the first, the first uh, thing that happens in the timeline and the workflow is if you buy any ships um, at auction that comes uh, from the, uh, the, that comes out of your bank account first. Um, and then you have the expenses, so you're going to decide to put X number of vessels out far away, X number of vessels in close, then you're going to incur whatever that cost is. Then, then the game will simulator will run, and your fish, your your uh, fishing vessels will go out, capture the fish. Uh, they're gonna bring that back to harbor and sell them for the the price per fish. You'll get that money, and uh, any any interest you might have to pay or whatever will be adjusted. And then you'll end up with uh, the amount of money you have for the next year's round. Cool. Again, this is done all automatically for you. So initially, you guys are each going to start off with three ships per team. And uh, your fleet may grow or be reduced based on your decisions. Um, and the only way you can get rid of your fleet, right, is if you sell it to somebody else. Uh, and so obviously the catch is influenced by how many people are fishing in those waters, uh, etc. There's also a bit of randomness stochasticity in introduced in here in the form of weather. And so that's not, that's not something that you control or I control. It's a stochastic process. So just, you know, some years it might be a really bad stormy season. You couldn't, you wanted to put your ships out far, but they either couldn't stay out for that long or they couldn't get there or 
the storm broke the nets or there's just some sort of random environmental cost that made it not conducive to, uh, to being able to capture fish. Um, in general, uh, the, you know, all things being equal, as we start this out, the deep sea is probably a better place. The fish stocks are larger. There's more biomass out there. So in terms of how effective you are, so the number of fish you bring back per trip um, will initially be higher usually in the offshore areas relative to the inshore areas. And this is, this is the story that you've been dealing with as we start the game. So maybe, let's say you just inherited your company from your, your parents or whatever. Um, so the, the fleets have been building and that's why we have so many teams. And the catch, you know, obviously the catch varies each year. Some years it's better than others, but in general, the catch has been going up. Cool? Makes sense in terms of the context? All right, so let's go fishing. So all you guys need to do is I sent you that link. You can type this in or I sent you that link. Um, so actually first, sorry, first let's, let's, let's shift to get in our groups. And then I want you guys to do this. So you only need one computer per group. Only one person need to log on from each group. Okay, when you guys are ready and you go to the website, this is the option I want you guys to click. Right, the one that says play as part of a class. And that's in the email I gave you guys our, our class uh, number and our password.